Welcome to Automation Training. Today's video, we are going to see how to configure analog modules and how to use the signals. You can see in the left side, we have input table and unit set. So this is the hardware configuration on the equipment. In IO table, you can see right now the model we using is CJ2M, CPU 11 is showing. In that in main rack, you can see empty slots. So in that, uh, select the slot number 0. If you right click, you can see add unit. In the add unit, you can see the basic IOs. In the basic IO, they have given the digital signals. And they given the communication adapters. The third one is for the analog signal has been given. For example, right now, I'm going to say, I'm going to use analog input unit eight points. That means eight channels. So I'm just choosing this one, give okay. So the unit zero. So the ranges you can see zero to 95. So you are defining the number. What are, how many numbers we are adding? Just like a serial number. So in unit zero, we are adding analog input module, which contains eight inputs. So once we add it, if you double click, you will get the properties. So in that you can see input one input signal use setting. So that means uh, we can able to select whether we are going to use it or not. Suppose in here if it is disabled and you are connected a uh, analog input, your PLC it won't read the value. So if you say we have eight inputs in that I'm going to use only one now, that one uh, signal you have to enable then only we can use and uh, right now you can see input one I'm going to use it so below that you can see input one input range setting so you can choose uh, that input which range it is because uh, already you know when we say analog signals that means analog input devices uh, output of the analog input will be what either voltage or current so the standard uh, ranges has been given when you say voltage, it will be either plus or minus 10 volt, 0 to 10 volt, or 1 to 5 volt, 0 to 5. Similarly, if it is current now, 4 to 20 milliamps is standard. So we can able to choose it in here. So right now, I have selected it is 0 to 10 volt. So just give OK. And I just close it. So now in your program, I am just placing an invoke contact. So right now I'm not going to give any addresses. Instead of that, we are going to use the flag bits. So without any address, if you select this uh, down arrow, uh, you can see the flag bits. In that you can see P underscore on. That means always on. So this which will be always in on state. So right now I'm going to use him. So right now what we are going to move now, uh, Right now we connected one analog input device. So the output of analog input is what? 0 to 10. That's what we configured. So your PLC going to read that value. So we need to know that analog input address. So how to know that address? Huh? You can see when we done that IO table hardware configuration, you can see in here 2000. So that's the address. So right now we are using what? First input. That means 2001. So in our program, I am going to use simply 2001 space. So whatever value present in that uh, input that was, I am going to move to a register D0. So the analog input we connected is what 0 to 10 but your plc doesn't show like 0 to 10 because your plc have a own resolution so that range will be 0 to 3 to 7, 6, 7. i'll just show you that so the resolution is 0 to
three to seven six seven. So that's a range it will display. But for example, right now I'm using a level transmitter to know that tank level. Your tank level capacity is zero to six thousand liters. So I want to see in terms of zero to six thousand liters, not in terms of uh, zero to three to seven six seven. So then what we have to do? Uh, we have to scale it. We have to scale this value into zero to six thousand liters. So for that only we are going to use a scaling block. So normally scaling block is uh, just a mathematical calculation which we learned in uh, colleges. That formula was, uh, you can see. So this is the formula. X minus X1 divided by X2 minus X1 equal to Y minus Y1 divided by Y2 minus Y1. So this calculation only they given as a block. That block name is a scaling. So how to use that block now? right now? I'll just copy this uh, same always on uh, switch. And I'm going to use a PLC instruction. So in that, yes, CL. So scaling function, SCL space. So it will ask three details. First, it will ask source. So I'm going to use that address as deep. Source space, it will ask parameter. So I'm going to use parameter as detail. Because a list of details we have to enter. So we need more space. So I'm going to use D10. And in here, I'm going to give D4. That is a result. So in D2, sorry instead of d2 what we can give in here is uh, d0 because we're using the scaling block for the analog in one so right now in d0 you are going to get the value as 0 to 3 to 7, 6, 7. so i'm going to scale that one in two in the range of what zero to six thousand liters So now, what we can do is, I can go to work online simulator. So we need a watch list. So for that, uh, what we can do is, I'll go to view in Windows via watch. can see in here so right now in both block we given always on so continuous signal is going on so right now in here in watch list we'll type the address what address we are going to type it now d10 d11 d12 D30. So four addresses will be used. So in this D0, that will be, you can see in here D0, D4. D0 is what? Source and D4 is lesser. So in uh, D10, so you can see the meaning they given as what? Parameter word, first parameter word. So in here we are going to feed list of value. So what we are going to feed is you can see in here D10. D10 will be R A. So that means result. You can see in here, the standard value we want to see is what? 0 to 6000. So, in D10, it will be 0. And uh, how we want to see now? 0 to 6000 now.
So in here, I'll give it as silicon. And in D12, it is uh, 6,000 we have to give. And in here, that range will be what? Zero, three, two, seven, six, seven. So right now, in analog input, maybe the value we are getting is uh, like five. So five volt now, it will be off of the analog resolution value. 16, 3, 8, 3. Because analog input, uh, we said as what? 0 to 10 volt. So that 0 to 10 only, your PLC reading it as 0 to 3 to 7, 6, 7. So when we say 5 volt, you know, it will be off of the value. Since I'm not, we don't have any analog in manually, we are giving the input value. When you're given set, you can see in here, the input are 16,383 has been given. So for that, it's showing the corresponding value. So in here, I'll type it as D4. And right now, it is displaying in terms of uh, hexadecimal. So that's why we can't able to see in terms of uh, liters, uh, 0 to 6,000 liter. So we'll change that one. So right now, it's showing the value. So right now, when we given 32767, you can see it is displaying it as what? 6000. So what should I have done now? Before starting it, you can open this one and uh, you can change everything into what? Unsigned integer. and send integer in terms of decimal. So it will display in decimal value.
So now we'll go to So now you can see in this. So the input we are giving in here as 16, 3, 8, 3. So it's showing what? The letter is 2180. So when we give right now the input, analog input is level transmitter giving you 10 volts. That means tank is full. So your PLC will read that value as 732767. So it's showing 6,000 letters. So this is how we have to use analog signals in here. Because default analog input will read in terms of the resolution. Always we have to scale into what you want to see in terms of letters or maybe in 0 to 100%. So you are saying I want to control the valve. So we need valve percentage 0 to 100%. So we can able to use. I hope you understood how to use the analog input uh, signals in your program and how to find the addressing as well as how to change, your, change the signal properties with either voltage or current. Thank you.